Hey guys, I thought I'd do an unboxing and first impression video on the Hammock Gear Incubator 20 degrees. Uh, it's a 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 7 degrees Celsius if you're here in Canada and it's an under quilt for a hammock. So I was pretty excited to get this. Uh, I've been waiting a little bit. I first put the order in January 1st it was mailed out on the 20th and I received it on February 3rd. I uh, did get held up at customs a little bit and they did charge me $47 at customs as well um, just to bring it across the border. So like I said I've been pretty excited I've been waiting it's kinda like waiting for Christmas to come so after opening the box, it comes with obviously the incubator and two pieces of paper. One's a packing slip, and a one is how to care for your incubator, how to clean it, um, just a little information about it. And they also include a phone number that you can phone them at any time if anything's ever wrong with it. I would have really liked to see them include a sticker, um, just some way that we could promote as well for them. Uh, everyone else seems to give you a little sticker of their business and it's just a nice little touch. So first the stuff sack that it comes in. Uh, looks really nice, uh, good quality, really good stitching. Um, I don't think I'll have any problems in the future with the stuff sack coming apart or anything. Pulling the incubator out of the bag, uh, it looks great. Um, it was fairly compressed and I could tell it would take a little bit of time for it to actually loft up a little bit. Now I was messing around with different camera angles, uh, just wanted to try it in some other videos so I thought I'd just give it a little attempt here. There's a tag on the end here, this shows that it is the head end, uh, it's just a hammock gear tag and it tells you which degree your incubator is so this like I said this is the 20 degree incubator just looking at the stitching um, <laughs> no flaws I don't see any loose threads anywhere uh, very straight stitching I have to say it, it's it's well put together I've had down sleeping bags in the past and I'm pretty impressed with how fast this is lofting up. Now at the end of the video I'll put some stills so you can compare the size of when it's in its stuff sack to other things. I'll bring out my uh, Nalgene bottle as well as my back, my pack. So I spread it out a little bit here. I'll just lay down beside it so you can get uh, kind of an idea how big it is. I'm 5'9", so you could tell it would fit 5'10", 5'11". Here's just a close-up of uh, the stitching. Uh, like I say, it's very well done. Uh, looks like they really took their time in doing it. I was impressed with how fast I got, even though it took a month to get. Uh, it was right after Christmas, and I'm sure, you know, everyone wants to take a little bit of a holiday and they probably had a lot of stuff to get done from all the Christmas orders so I wasn't upset at all. This is the underside of the quilt. Uh, same thing, the stitching is just beautiful. Um, the edges are well done. I can't see anything coming apart. They did put little attachment, little loops along the sides so you could do any modifications or just cinching it closer to the hammock if you needed to. Now on the ends, uh, here's a shock cord and they put a little attachment here which you could lock the cord so it's just a little pull system. Great for cinching it up. Also an S-beaner uh, right in the middle. I haven't set it up yet, so I'm going 
going to guess this is how you would attach it to your hammock. The foot end is basically the same. Uh, same attachment, same draw cord, and same s beaner on the other side as well. I'm really excited to get this on my hammock and give it a shot. Uh, I'll have to do a video of once I get it outside and get it on the hammock and sleep in it a couple times so I can give you a full review. Now it's only been about six, seven minutes since I've opened it and the loft is just lofting up. It's incredible. Again, here's your hammock gear tag, just so you can identify it. Uh, they do offer different models, a 40 and a 0 degrees. So if you were to get other ones, at least you could identify them quickly by the tag. Okay, and as I promised, guys, uh, here come the stills. First one is just the weight. So in the stuff sack, 1 pound 7 ounces. An Elgin bottle weighs 6 ounces. And here it is in front of my pack. Uh, it's a 60 liter pack with an Elgin bottle beside it. And here they are side by side. So thanks for watching my video guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, look for more videos coming up on the hammock gear incubator uh, when I put it on my hammock, as well as my hammocks. I have a Blackbird and a Hennessy, which I'll be doing videos as well. And also, please subscribe to my videos so you can see when they come out. All right, I'll leave a subscribe button right here for you. Thanks, guys.